Happy Sunday, YouTube friends. So I went to church this morning to the eight o'clock service. I'm at Ross right now. I just bought like a little car mount thing so that I can like mount my phone in my car and do car chat vlogs like I'm doing right now. I went to Dee Dee's discount store on Friday. I got this one for only $3.99, but it doesn't work right. Wait, no, this is my old one. Yeah, this isn't suction anymore. But I just wanted to do today a get ready with me for the week. Sunday is my day that I just don't do anything really. I don't commit to anything. And that is a commitment that I made to myself for 2019. Like I can't keep going to the brunch, the birthday party, the this, the that, the whatever it is on Sundays. Like I had always, you know, in the past said, yes, you know, I'll be there. I can do it if the event or the get together or whatever was on a Sunday, but I just ended up feeling really stressed out and frazzled and like I didn't have enough time to do what I needed to do um, for the rest of the day. And so I said, you know what, in 2019, I'm just going to say no, unless it is maybe like one of my best friends, then I'm just going to say no. It really takes a toll on me mentally throughout the week when I have not adequately prepared in advance. I'm going to go to Aldi, go grocery shopping. It's 11.22 now. I want to be home by 12. And so I'm making really good time. Quick red light update. So the issue with this thing is that it's just not sticking anymore. I have some Thieves Cleaner, like a little travel size thing that I keep in my compartment down here. I'm gonna spray this on to here, wipe it off and see if that works. I'll let you guys know. I am just so happy. I gave one spray, like just one pump of my Thieves Cleaner. I put it on the back of my car mount, wiped it down with this good old Dunkin' Donuts napkin that was already in my glove compartment. I stuck it back up and it stuck. Like, I am so happy about this. When you're happy, celebrations are in order. So what better than one chocolate frosted donut to celebrate? And All right, so I had cleaned everything up, but I had not put everything away. So that's what I'm working on now. As I'm putting things away, what I like to do is set to the side the things that I'm going to use to prep the lunches for this week. So I won't put those away. I'll just prep all the lunches. And then when I'm done prepping the lunches, I'll put those things away. So that's like the applesauce. I get one. Ian gets one every day. We each get a fruit cup every day. I have a granola bar that I dip into my applesauce. Sometimes I take pita chips. Ian gets pita chips every day, though. He gets veggie straws every day. I never really have veggie straws for myself. All right, guys, so I am in my hubby's car and we just picked up our groceries from Walmart. I always do Aldi and Walmart on Sundays. We were gonna go to World of Nations, which is like a celebration. They have outdoors downtown and they have like all these different vendors and booths from so many different countries across the world. You can get food and stuff, but I mean, you can see it's raining right now. So um, we're gonna drop the groceries off at home and still maybe go out there i don't know we'll see all right guys so i am making dinner now we went to lowe's and we have decided that we want to have our project of something that we work on together just being like gardening outside and getting our home together i'm making jambalaya this is the green onions that i've already cut up i'm gonna cut up this bell pepper I went to BJ's Brew House for dinner with Kevin last week and I got jambalaya and it was really, really good. So I was like, I have got to figure out how to make this for myself. So this is a little bit of an adventure in the kitchen because I've never made jambalaya before, but I'm just praying and hoping that because I'm making it with love, it will just turn out to be very delicious. I uh, looked up a recipe for it. I ended up on YouTube, surprise, surprise. And I found this channel, Soulful Tea cooking or maybe it's just soulful tea but I was watching her make the jambalaya and I'm using her recipe like and she actually doesn't even have like a recipe linked I couldn't find an actual recipe on the internet so this is really <laughs> like me going out on a limb because I'm very much like two cups of this a third cup of that you know three tablespoons of this or whatever but she doesn't have that so I'm just like I just watched the video I'm like well I hope it works out so 
It's a little sad that we didn't get a chance to go to World of Nations today, but Kevin and I had really good time that we spent together just like walking around Lowe's and talking about what we wanna do for our home. And I'm just excited that we have a new project to work on together because I've been telling him for a while now that like we really need to find something that we can do in common, like that we can learn together or do together or just some kind of project that we can do together because we have our son now, he's two years old and so much of our conversation like is centered around him and you know, taking care of him and that kind of thing. And I really feel like as a married couple, it's important for us to continue learning one another and just growing together. And I feel like by having something in common that we can work on or like a project or a goal or just something like that, like this is just healthy for our marriage. So I'm really excited about it. We're gonna start researching, landscaping and gardening and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just looking forward to it. So. So it's time to wash the chicken and season it. No matter what the recipe calls for, I'm going to always and forever season with onion and garlic powder and black pepper. It's just a given. So that was not a part of her recipe, but I'm gonna use it in mine along with the Tony Saturday seasoning, some ground black pepper, a little thyme, and just a hint of cayenne pepper. So now I am cutting up my chicken. This is literally my least favorite part of cooking, like touching and handling meat. I'm really not a fan of it. And when I went vegan for three months, my favorite part about that was the fact that I didn't have to touch or handle raw meat. And then also just how quickly dinner was cooked every night because like I didn't have to wait for chicken, you know, an hour for it to cook through or anything like that. I have the oil on the stove and you know what? I should have cut up the sausage before I started dealing with the raw chicken, but it's okay. I'll do the sausage after this. And I think that will be the only thing left to do. And then all I, all I need to do is just add rice to it once everything kind of cooks down. finally done there is the jambalaya let me turn the camera around so you guys can see what it looks All like done now it's cooked and it smells really good it looks good i was worried about, about it being like dried uh, not dried but like too kind of mushy i cannot stand mushy rice like at all whatsoever so i'm really glad that it looks like um the rice cooked perfectly and i cannot wait to taste it. all right here it is my first time ever making jambalaya Thank you, Lord, for this food. Bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. It's good. It's flavorful. I think I wanted it to be a little spicier than it is, but it's okay. It's good. It's really good. I'm not mad about this. This is really good. Okay, guys, so I think... Sorry if you could just see my food, but I think I'm going to call it a day here. I'm going to end the vlog. Thanks for spending my day with me, getting everything set up and ready for the week. I'll see you all in the next one.